What's up YouTube? I'm Ronix from Ronix Photography and welcome to yet another brand new tutorial on this channel and if you haven't subscribed to this channel kindly hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on, me, on new videos every time we upload so right now this is a photo you are going to do the color grading on and yeah this tutorial is all about color grading as you can see and yeah I looked around all the videos I've made before and I hadn't done a color grading video separately before so right now we're going to do color grading of this image and this image is for a Ugandan musician she's called Nina Rose you guys can check her out I'm going to put the link in the description so this is the photo we are going to do the color grading on so as you can see this photo I already finished doing the frequency separation and the dodging and burning so as you can see this was the before let me zoom in a little bit this was the before and this was the after the frequency separation before after frequency separation and if you would like to learn more about frequency separation i have so so many videos on this channel you can check out all, all the videos about frequency separation so after doing my frequency separation that was the before after i went ahead and did my dodging and burning you can see before dodging and burning after before after you can see how amazing this photo looks i tried to brighten her neck area and her chest area yeah and i emphasize more the highlights and the shadows so yeah this is also we are going to go straight to our color grading of this specific photo and usually when i'm doing my color grading first of all i make sure i duplicate i create a stamp visible layer by clicking shift ctrl alt e on the keyboard so i'll duplicate this ctrl j so you, you can say i have two layers right here then usually i prefer to pass camp my camera roll filter so yeah so this is my camera roll filter so i just come to my camera calibration and i'm going to play around with these sliders right here so usually i prefer pulling down my blue primaries to around negative seven then i'll come to my green primaries yeah you can just play around with these sliders yeah i prefer a golden feel so i'll go with negative five then i'll come to my red primaries you can see when you pull it all the way it becomes too orange so i'll go with six for this slope yeah so i'll pull down my saturation a little bit of my reds to negative three so right now we are done with that so you can see before after before after it is really really sad i don't want to overdo this so right now i'm going to come to my selective color click right here then you see selective color so i prefer pulling my science adding a little science to the image then I pump up my yellows to around six, seven, seven can do for this loop. Then I'm going to pull down my magentas a little bit. I'm going to pull them back a little bit so you can see to negative 12. So after this, I'm going to close that. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to be using my gradient maps to add a golden field to this image. So I, I'm going to come right here click on gradient map and click on this color right here and if you don't have all these palettes these color palettes just click on this gear icon and click photographic toning and click append you get all these so usually when i'm doing color grading for light skin models i prefer using gold one and gold two so i'm, I'm going to use gold one first click on it then click ok i'm going to close this then come to my blending I'm, and I'm going to use soft light as you can see the image right now it looks too yellow so I'm just going to come to my opacity and pull down my opacity a little bit so you can see yeah 10 will do so I'm going to come back to my gradient map and I'm going to click on this color then I'm going to use gold too because I'm going for that golden look click no more then again soft light so as you can see it is too yellow i'm going to come right here and pull down the opacity a little bit 
so right now this is the image we are working on so what i'm going to do right now i'm going to uh cool down this image a little bit so i'm just going to come here click then i'm going to click photo filter and i'm going to come right here cooling filter and i'm going to reduce this a little bit so i'm going to leave it at around six yeah let me let me go for five so yeah this is um this is our color grading for this photo so i'm going to group all this so that i can show you guys the before and the after so i'm going to group all this including these two layers Control g on the keyboard to group them so this is the before after before after you can see how amazing our image looks so guys this is the way i color grade my photos and if you have learned something remember to leave a thumbs up on this video and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if at all you haven't subscribed to this channel yet and thank you for watching i'm running from around thank you for watching sorry about that thank you for watching i'm running from running photography and keep on watching and supporting this channel for more videos till next time